Didn't really, didn't really expect this. What's going on guys? Today we are headed to the garage to make a start on the van and get it prepared for welding. So let's go over there. So first job of the day is take down the carpet in the bulkhead and try and find out where this leak is coming from and hopefully repair it. So, let's do this. So the carpet ceiling is off now and we've uh, found where the source of the leak is and it is up there along the windscreen. The uh, glue is missing. There is a cheaper option to fix that rather than replacing the windscreen or taking the windscreen off and that's um, using a strong adhesive sealant so we're gonna order some of that up and then apply it on the exterior and touch wood that fixes it. Um, next thing is we are going to take the wings off because we are replacing them because they've rusted through. Won't be fitting their new wings on today because they might need welding underneath we don't know yet until we take the wings off and then after we've taken the wings off we are going to be getting on the roof sanded down the rust and repairing that as well so next stage is uh, let's take in the wings off So, taken the wings off, as you can see, and discovered there's quite a lot more rust. So, easiest way around it is to take the front off and take the bumper off. Um, yeah, didn't really, didn't really expect this, to be honest, but a little bit, I feel a little bit defeated as such but um is what it is gotta get it done so let's take the uh take the bumper off next and take the front off and yeah oh well here's what it is i guess i was just hopeful in thinking that it wouldn't need as much welding as it does now but then again, that's always a risk you're going to take when you buy an old van such as this one. You never really know what's underneath until you start taking things apart. We did know about a few few bits that did need welding. But um, yeah, all where the wings go are just completely rusted through and they need strengthening. So it is what it is. Um, it'll be better. On the other side, everything's going to be more str stronger. Um, may as well just rebuild the whole van and make it a brand new van. But um, no, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, win some, lose some. So, taking the bumper in the front off, show you what you mean. Oh, this here, it's gonna need to be reinforced and welded, structural. Um, but yeah, gonna call it a day here today because been at it for a good six hours, seven hours probably. 
Um, some good progress. A little setback with that welding, which is a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. I've always said if you're going to do it, do it properly, especially if you're going to be pumping a load of money into it, and the final result will be a lot better. So, yeah, we're coming back here next week um, to deal with the rust on the roof. I'm going to cure that, and also I'm going to get some sealant for that leak. Hopefully that will work rather than taking off the windscreen because I do not want to go down that option But yeah, if you did enjoy this video and if you are Enjoying the van conversion series then please do give us a thumbs up and a little subscribe It does help a lot. I think looking at my YouTube statistics about 70% of you that are viewing my videos at the minute aren't subscribed so if you do subscribe, I will be eternally grateful and I will bless you with more van conversion videos and travel vlogs. So yeah, I'll see you in the next episode of self-build camper vans. Peace out.